Timelines – Event-Based Video Frame Interpolation We introduce Timelines, a novel method for video frame interpolation in the wild, which excels in highly dynamic scenarios such as flowing water where classical methods fail. These scenarios are challenging since they exhibit large and highly non-linear motions, complex occlusions and illumination changes due to specularities and other effects. Timelens works by combining RGB frames from a low frame rate camera with asynchronous events from an event camera. These events only report per pixel brightness changes and do this asynchronously, thus providing a highly compressed representation of the visual signal in the blind time between frames. By combining the output of both sensors, our method can overcome typical failure cases of standard frame-based approaches such as artifacts, caused by highly dynamic motions. Our methods first splits events between subsequent keyframes into two chunks according to the desired interpolation timestamp tau. These data primitives are then passed to two separate modules. In the synthesis-based module, event chunks and keyframes are fused to the interpolated frame in an end-to-end -end fashion. This module allows our method to cope with brightness changes, since it can directly integrate events. The warping-based module, on the other hand, uses the events to predict intermediate nonlinear flow, which is used to warp the original keyframe. Since flow is computed from events, it does not suffer from image degradation such as blurring or over and under saturation. This procedure is repeated twice, once for each keyframe event chunk pair, resulting in two warped images. The three outputs of these modules are used to perform a warping refinement step before being fused in an attention block. This block only predicts blending parameters for each interpolated frame, um, thus leveraging the advantages of both blocks by only choosing the best pixels in each interpolated frame. By leveraging the complementarity of these modules, timelines can handle scenes with repetitive structures which are challenging for frame-based methods, due to visual aliasing. However, our method can disambiguate these cases by using events between frames. Finally, due to the linearity assumption of frame-based methods, they exhibit artifacts in the presence of rotating objects, such as truncated corners, which do not occur for our method. We also compare our approach to state-of-the-art event-based methods, which suffer from ghosting effects and are limited to grayscale reconstructions. Our method, on the other hand, does not suffer from these effects and is the first to work with color. We compare our approach to a state-of-the-art smartphone at 7680 FPS. To ensure small linear motions, smartphones typically need to record keyframes at up to 1920 FPS, which limits their recording time to 125 milliseconds and requires a 2 GB memory buffer. Our method, on the other hand, achieves similar results with only 160 FPS keyframes, which can greatly extend this recording period, as well as reduce the overall data transfer. Thus, our method requires much less memory than state-of-the-art high-speed cameras. We extensively evaluate our method on various real and synthetic datasets, where we show an up to 5.4 decibel improvement in terms of PSNR over state-of-the-art event and frame-based methods. We release the first high-speed and high-resolution event and frame dataset to push the limits of state-of-the-art video frame interpolation approaches. In conclusion, we present a method which combines frames and asynchronous events for frame interpolation. It addresses many failure cases of traditional methods such as visual aliasing, highly nonlinear motion, and illumination changes. Extensive evaluation shows an up to 5.4 decibel improvement in terms of PSNR over both event and frame-based methods. Moreover, we show similar results to a high-speed camera with a significant reduction in data, thereby greatly re extending the recording time. For code and datasets, please visit our website.